is Active Directory? It's a data store. It's stored only on domain controllers. And uh, what's wh tell me more about it. What more do we know about Active Directory? As users. In fact, let me put a little subsection here. It contains not just users, but groups, OUs, devices, printers, computers, sites, so and, and so on and so forth. Now, this list of things here, where did it come from? What's the master list? And these things are also called objects. And in fact, these objects have other things, like users have a name, they have a password, they have a department, you know, groups have a name, they have members, and so on. What are those things called? Properties of the object. So there's a master list of the definition of all the things you can use in your Active Directory. Now, what is my sandbox of things? And the master list of things in an Active Directory is called the schema. And it identifies the relationships between all objects and the properties of all objects. And it's hierarchical. It's very hierarchical in nature also. Um, where is the schema stored? It is definitely stored on a domain controller. And what domain controller is it stored on? Active Directory contains five operation master roles. You need to understand what the term operation master means. Operations master. So what it means is, in order to run a domain, in order to operate a domain, there are certain things that have to be there. One of the things that has to be there is there has to be at least one machine that's willing to take on the responsibility of maintaining the schema. Because the schema defines all possible types of things that can exist. The schema just type, this defines the type of things that are available. So when you right click on your Active Directory and you say create new user, it actually goes to the schema, it finds that definition of user, and it carbon copies it. So basically you have a blank copy of what exists in the schema of that class. Um, so I need one machine in my domain that keeps that master list of all possible things that can exist in my Active Directory. That particular machine is called, it's called the Schema Master. One of your machines is going to end up being the Schema Master. And all other domain controllers, do they have the schema? Well, they have a copy. They have, and what kind of copy? Read-only read copy of the schema. All domain controllers have a read-only copy of the schema. Um, while we're on that topic of the schema master, let's talk real quickly about just as a review. What are the other master roles a domain controller can, can play? So, so one machine is going to be the schema master. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let me a little bit more about schemas. So if I've got one schema, what is the scope of of machines that will use that schema? You know, is a schema used inside a site? Is it used inside of a domain? Is it used inside of a subdomain? Is it across an entire forest, multiple forests? What is the scope that a schema can affect? One forest. One schema per forest. Domain naming master. When you're adding and removing domains, one of the machines, you have to have the domaining, na domain naming master available. So these are kind of, you know, kind of traffic cops. You want to add a new domain, we've got to have a domain naming, domain naming master to make sure that you're giving it a legal name. Most companies... How many forests should most companies need? Right. And, and, and inside that forest, how many domains should they need? Yeah, I mean, right? You've learned how to organize. I mean, right? Isn't that why we've learned how to use OUs and groups? And that's the, you know, our organization that exists inside the domain. Okay, so those two, domain naming master, schema master, those are forest-wide. There will be a domain controller that will handle those operations for the entire forest. Then there are other domain master roles that are just domain level. Uh, the RID master. The RID master makes sure that SIDs that are given out are, are appropriate. So you've got to have someone managing 
the allocation of secure identifiers to make sure you don't get duplicates. The infrastructure master to manage the membership of groups um, across domain controllers. It's basically the infrastructure master tracks group membership from other domains as you move things around domains. So the infrastructure master is going to make sure that group memberships are kept up to date. And then finally, the one that I was just talking about, the PDC emulator. If you have uh, NT4O, 